Hi guys, my name is Jazz and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, um, I discuss everything fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today I'm very, very, very excited. Um, I'm trying some new makeup and I'm excited. It's been a while. I feel like the pandemic has slowed everything down, but I'm trying the new relaunch from Fashion Fair in Sephora and I'm so excited um, just because I'm just so excited that Sephora is just like there's more black owned beauty products. They have like bays of products. They have Fashion Fair now. They even have like a whole bay of Vanessa Myrick. So I'm here for it and I'm excited to try everything. Um, if you're not familiar with Fashion Fair, they launched like I want to say like 60 years ago. They were probably, I don't want to say the first, but I know growing up with like my mom and like my grandmother fashion fair was like the only products that you can find that featured like complexion products for all skin tones like my mom had a darker complexion so it was hard for her to find makeup and foundation so she always went to fashion fair and then i know like i had uh, clients that i used to you know try to help in sephora and they will always talk about fashion fair and then all of a sudden disappeared or you couldn't find like the products in macy's so I'm guessing now they've been launched um, and now they're in Sephora. Sam Fine is the one of the ambassadors and I'm excited. So I actually went in stores to pick this up at my local Sephora. Yes, my local Sephora. They had a whole bay of products. Um, they have more so like their foundation, setting powder, pressed powder, serum, like a uh, primer and a few lipsticks. So I picked up today the Cream to Powder Foundation. I got the shade found, uh, Fine Chestnut. That seemed to have gone the best with me. And then I picked up the Pressed Powder and Bold Bronze. I have the foundation stick to contour. I got the shade Chocolate Darling. And I got one of the lipsticks, which is like a nude, which is like my go-to. Um, for lipstick in the shade Koi. So I'm going to use all these products today, of course, with some other things um, to do my whole face today. And I am so looking forward to it because, again, I'm excited and you should be too. I'm going to start with priming my face. I didn't get the primer just because my skin is like so picky, but I'm going to prime my face and kind of get started with doing my face. So if you want to see how these products work and if you should get the new relaunch, then stay tuned. So again, I got the Compact Silk Powder Skin Cream Foundation. It's supposed to be like cream and then it's supposed to kind of like dry down as a powder finish. Um, it's supposed to be natural finish. I forget how many shades come in this foundation. I will put them down below, but I got the shade Fine Chestnut. Of course, um, that seems to have gone the best. It had more of like a warm undertone. Um, the packaging is pretty pretty. It's like white. I know my um, light is probably blurring it out. But it has, it comes like this, and then of course, like the sponge is underneath. Um, I haven't tried a cream foundation in a while, so I'm kind of like, how should I apply this? Um, I think I'm going to start with the sponge, maybe, and just see, because I know that's how the company wants you to use it. I already primed my face. My face is already moisturized and ready to go. Um, I'm interested in seeing the coverage. They say it's medium coverage, but I got like some, you know how it is, like I got some new... <laughs> breakout dark marks here so I'm hoping it will cover that so let's see I'm gonna put my camera in a little bit closer just so we can see here um so let's see I'm gonna go on the sponge first just to see so putting out the sponge the color seems pretty good I'm probably honestly gonna just use a brush because the sponge is just not working for me so let me grab a brush and I'm probably gonna go with my finger just to see I just wanted to feel the texture it definitely is cream to powder so if you're like more on the drier side I definitely will suggest you putting a um, hydrating primer on making sure your face is really hydrated so I'm gonna just like buff it out a little bit because it does really dry down like it's like matte I don't know what to do guys. I think I'm gonna go back with the sponge just because the brush wasn't so much working out. So I'm gonna go with the sponge again. Let's see if it covers that darkness there. I might take my damp beauty blender and like kind of go around my face just to blend it out. But it's definitely more of a matte to powder foundation, I mean, finish for sure. Like, 
I'm like, hmm, I might have you try to use some more hydrating products, but like kind of just putting it on my face without blending it out. It seems to go pretty well. Um, I know when I kind of um, put my concealer on and everything, everything is going to balance out perfectly. So let's see. I think I'm gonna go on my beauty blender, the back end and kind of just like dab it just to blend it out. Hmm. That's not really working either. Hmm. I think I'm going to go back to using a buffing brush. Of course, this is my first time using it. So bear with me because, you know, when you're trying new products, you're like, wait, should I use this? Should I use that? So I'm going to go back in with my buffing foundation brush. It's mad dirty, but I'm going to go back in with that and just try to blend it out with that. I think I will get better blending with that. So that is something to know about this so far. It's like, you could put it on with the sponge, but like to blend it out, you definitely need like a, a buffing brush, I feel like. The sponge didn't move it as much as I would have liked for me because it pretty much dries down. And like with the sponge, it kind of just like looks like you just place foundation on your face and you definitely want it to blend out. But it is what it claims. It's definitely more of a powder finish. I'm actually curious because I bought the... Um, the finishing powder press powder and I don't want to look dry so I'm just like hmm how should I play this but let me just keep going with my face and then seeing how it goes so looking back it gave me some coverage here let's see I'm just dipping my foundation directly I mean my brush directly in the foundation just to see if I like what it does I don't know guys, I, I think I like it. I'm gonna blend out some more here. I might apply a little bit more just because I wanna be extra to really see how it works, but so far so good. So guys, I did my brows and I just added concealer off camera since the brand doesn't have those products. So next I'm gonna go in with the stick foundation. Now, like with reading on the website, um, even along with the creams and powder foundation, it has skincare benefits, vitamin C to help hydrate um, and brighten the skin. Um, so this one, they describe it as like on the website as like a hydrating, obviously foundation and this is how it looks i love the packaging um it looks this way so i'm guessing if you were if you're more on the drier skin type this formula will work a little bit better for you as opposed to this which will probably be better for oily skin types since it dries down to more of a um, matte powder found um finish i'm sorry so i think with this i got the shade chocolate darling just because i feel like i know myself and i know what i like and i know that usually with stick foundations i tend to not like them just because they tend to get really greasy on me so i went with that as my foundation and i'm going to use this as my um contour stick so that should be fun um this when i felt in the stores it felt like really really nice and i just feel like the packaging of the stick is i don't know it excited me for some reason so i'm just gonna go in yeah, it's definitely a little bit more creamier. So I'm just going to go around the perimeter of my forehead and my cheeks. <laughs> and blend that out. Yeah, the packaging on this is like, it's like lovely. I don't know. I like that. So I'm going to go blend this out, wet my beauty blender a little bit, and then just kind of blend upwards and see how it blends out. Okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like you know how when you add concealer, you do your brows and then you contour? I feel like my complexion is coming together. First, I was a little nervous. I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. But now I'm like looking at it, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So, so far, that blended out really nice. One thing I will say, like when I did see these um, shade sticks in, sh in store, they had a lot of shades. So even if you are like darker, like a little bit more deeper, 
they have like a lot of the six shades like even for me they were like three so this is pretty dark like tar chocolate darling they were probably like three to four shades look i mean I think three, three shades after this that was darker than this. So I was like, wow, like, of course, I'm here for the shade range, but it blended out really nice. I will say with, upon using like the stick and like, I know that I didn't use it as foundation, but it did feel a little bit more silkier, a little bit more hydrating. So if you are more, if you have drier skin, I definitely would say to use that as your base as opposed to the foundation, um, skin to powder um, cream foundation just because it'll be a little bit dry for you so I'm gonna set my under eyes and then I'm gonna set my face I'm gonna set my under eyes and I'm gonna set my face with the iconic press powder so with the press powder they didn't have they actually have a loose setting powder too I personally like to set my face with press powder just because oh crap I almost broke my nail but I like to set my foundation more so with pressed powders um, only because like for me I get oily throughout the day and then like sometimes I like have like go out to, out to work and I like to have this in my bag to so kind of just touch up. I just feel like it's easier to carry, easier to kind of have your compact and the go with you to look at your face and see what's going on <laughs> throughout the day. So I picked this up um, other than their loose powder because I have so many loose powders and I just prefer to use pressed powder. But if you're somebody who wants to set your under eye with their loose powder, they definitely have shades that you can bake with and set your foundation. I want to say they have about five shades of the loose setting powder. So let me set my under eyes with a powder that I already have and then go in with the pressed powder just to see how that works. So I will say guys, like, I don't know about you all, but like, I kind of stopped overly baking. I just kind of just go like this with a brush, kind of just set things up. You know, I won't say I'm aging, but I'm getting a little older and the whole baking teas, like, it was giving me like wrinkles that I didn't even have and I was just like you know what let me just little do a little spot like kind of underneath the eye with like a brush and kind of move forward so um in the iconic press powder I got bold bronze Ooh, it's pretty bad I gotta take off this plastic which looks like this color is a little bit warm um so I'm gonna just take my powder brush and kind of just set my um, foundation and the packaging is really pretty like it has the gold on the outside I'm here for it this does not oh the only thing that's different with this unless I just not opening correctly is that it doesn't have a sponge so for me I like to put it in my purse and kind of just touch up throughout the day so that could be a challenge unless I just take the sponge from the compact and put it in here um, that's a little odd because like I'm not gonna take a brush and put it in my bag but let's just see how this sets. so I'm just gonna go around the perimeter of my face and that's it so it definitely mattified everything I had a little oil going on here so I'm gonna wipe off my under eyes so I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna just do um, my sorry oh my god I'm in my eyes I'm gonna do my eyeshadow off camera and then come back and put the lipsticks and tell you guys my thoughts hey guys so I added well I did my hair so hair is hearing <laughs> um, but I added bronzer and I added blush of course the brand doesn't have those things as of yet so now I'm gonna just put some lipstick on and the shade that I got from the lipstick line was Koi which is like a nude like a nude pinky shade um this is the packaging of course um they have like oranges and berries and reds but usually like my deeper tones I like them to be matte and these are more kind of like a creamy satin um so first I'm gonna line my lips I think I'm gonna use makeup forever limitless brown which is more like a darker brown and see what that does for this lip, just lightly line it. So my lips are lined. I didn't even show you guys the shade of the lipstick, my bad. So this is the shade, not sure if you can see it, but it's really like a nude. So I'm gonna just put this on now. So it's definitely like a creamy satin. Ooh. 
I'm gonna add a little bit more liner. Oh, this is cute. So this is like a magnet. I didn't just realize as I went to close it, you close it and it kind of like snaps, which is cute. So I'm here for the packaging. The packaging is like, I'm really liking. So let me just add a little bit more liner. And this is the look. So this look is like my everyday makeup <laughs> that I always wear, but I figure what's the better way to try the brand than to wear what I normally would wear. But I don't know guys, it's looking cute. Guys, that is everything from the new Fashion Fair line in Sephora. Like, I know I just kind of put everything on and I'm technically not doing a wear test, but I am super impressed with how everything came out. Like, I one thing about me, like when I try new makeup, like, you know how if you can't pair with things you normally use or you can't use your old concealer, that's when you know it's probably not the best fit. It definitely went along with everything that I currently use, which is a great, great sign. It looks like skin. I feel like I look like myself. Everything is like blended together. Like. The lipstick is like so like it's like perfect the perfect nude perfect creaminess the foundation again so if you guys where's the foundation so as far as the foundation this is definitely more for if you have like more combo to oily skin i definitely think that if you have more drier skin unless you are really super hydrated and you make sure you prep accordingly this might be a little dry for you i would definitely say go with the stick foundation instead but so far like i'm super impressed i'm like okay like sometimes you just don't know especially when you set with powders and definitely use new things like i've had disasters happen but so far i'm like really happy and I'm excited like honestly I think it's about time that Sephora has more inclusivity in their products and things that they sell right now the foundations I think to Monday all foundations in the store are 20% off so if you definitely were thinking about tr trying fashion fair like get to it tonight I think I might upload this today <laughs> so get to it tonight and to tomorrow and definitely check it out um i'm excited for the brand and seeing where it goes i'm excited for the history the nostalgia just being sold in sephora i am so happy um and i'm so excited and honored to have tried these products and actually like love them like look i'm <laughs> feeling myself but let me know what you guys think in the comments um let me know if you're going to try the new fashion fair of course everything i use will be linked down below in the shades that i got um again in the foundation i got shade fine chestnuts and the powder oh my god oh my god guys i got bold bronze and the stick i got chocolate darling but i will of course link everything down below let me know what you guys think you like my face like I like it. But let me know what you guys think. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. And until next time, guys, be safe and be well. Bye. Probably caught the end of the video and I wasn't sure if I was going to do an end of day update, but I was like, you know what? Do an end of day update. So right now it's pretty much 10 o'clock at night. Um, and I already told you guys to subscribe and like, and you still should. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick end of day update to show you how it held up. Like this is my face. I went outside. I was filming in front of hot cameras, <laughs> um, hot lights, changing my clothes, and like it held up pretty well. Like my face, like if I blot here a little bit, I can still go on and go out and do what I need to do. So it's a go, it's a go, long lasting, love it.